Hi. Now what we've got here is a typical question where we have to find the point of intersection between two lines, L1 and L2. So if you'd like to give this question a go, just give you a moment to uh, pause the video and as usual do come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So what we've got here then is with respect to a fixed origin O, the lines L1 and L2 are given by these two equations here. If I was to draw them, okay, we've got something like this L1 say, and we've got another line, let's say this one here, L2. And we know that there's our origin say O, that at the point of intersection here, the position vector r for both of them would be exactly the same. And that's basically how we go about trying to find out what that position vector of intersection is. So I'm going to come in with a subtitle here. What we can say is that at the point of intersection, and by the way, you can see plenty more videos of this type of thing on my website, examsolutions.net, okay? But uh, what we've got is that at the point of intersection, we know that this vector equation for the line L1 will equal this vector equation. And what I'm going to do is write in column vector form. You don't have to, but uh, I find that it generally is quicker. We've got 913 minus 3 then, 913 minus 3, plus lambda multiplied by 1, 4, minus 2, 1, 4, minus 2. And this is equal to 2 minus 1, 1, 2 minus 1, 1, plus mu times 2, 1, 1. So plus mu times 2, 1, 1. Okay, now at this point, what we can do is we equate either the i components, j components, or k components. It's up to you, but what we look for is some easy equations that we can work with because we're going to be doing simultaneous equations to work out what lambda and mu are going to be. Well, looking at the i components, let's just put a little subtitle in here. Put i, okay, what does it give us? Well, it gives us 9 plus 1 lambda, or just simply 9 plus lambda, equals 2 plus 2 mu. And what I'd want to do here is make lambda the subject, so I could use it later. So just taking 9 from both sides is going to give me lambda equals 2 mu minus 7. And I'll put that equation on hold. We'll call it, say, equation 1. Now what I want to do next is look towards another equation and I'm going to look at the J components that's the second line here and equate those so we'll just put J there as a subtitle and what we've got is 13 plus 4 lambda 13 plus 4 lambda is going to equal minus 1 plus 1 mu minus 1 plus mu then and what I can do now is make mu the subject here. So uh, if I was to add one to both sides, I'm going to have mu equals 14 plus 4 lambda. And I'll call that equation 2. And what I can do now is substitute equation 1, wherever we have a lambda here, substitute equation 1 into equation 2. But there's more than one way of doing these simultaneous equations, and so uh, leave it up to you to decide a path through this. This is only just a suggestion. And if we do this, we're therefore going to have mu equals 14 plus 4 lambda, so that's going to be 4 multiplied by 2 mu minus 7. So what do we have here? Well, we've got mu, okay, equals 14, plus, and expanding the bracket, we've got 8 mu minus 28. And 
if I just start to rearrange this, we therefore have, well if I take mu from both sides, that's going to leave me with 7 mu here. We've got 14 minus 28, which is negative 14. Add that to both sides, I'm going to see that I'm going to get 7 mu equals 14. And so therefore, dividing both sides by 7, mu equals 2. And I can substitute this back into, say, equation 1. So sub into equation 1. And that means that lambda must equal 2 times 2 is 4, minus 7. That's going to give me minus 3. So lambda equals minus 3. Now, I can substitute mu equals 2 or lambda equals minus 3 back into either one of these equations here. It's up to you. We're told they intersect, so we don't have to prove that they intersect. So it doesn't matter now whether I put 2, as I say, or lambda equals minus 3 into 1 or 2. I'm going to sub, let's say sub, lambda equals minus 3 into L1. And if we do that, we get the position vector of intersection equals 9i, and then we've got minus 3i here, because lambda is minus 3, so it's going to give me 6i. And then we've got 13j minus 3 times the 4 minus 12j, so it's going to give me plus j. And finally, we've got minus 3k minus 3 times minus 2, so that's plus 6. So you've got minus 3 plus 6, which is going to be plus 3. So you get plus 3k. All right, so do check, you know, that mu equals 2 into here, and you should get exactly the same result. Okay.